So you're looking into refining or buying an Alpine, but something important to think about is what sieves are there? Will they work? Will they better my operation? Well, stick around and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Hey there, my name's Andrew Kotlar and sometimes regular sieves just don't cut it. If you're struggling with heavy particle agglomeration, the Alpine E200 LS can revolutionize your process. But it all comes down to sieves, right? Well, WS Tyler has been in the particle size analysis industry for over 110 years and is here to make sure you have the best particle analysis setup possible. That's why in this video, we'll go over what an Alpine E200 LS is, the benefits of an Alpine air jet sieve, and the sieves used on an Alpine. An Alpine air jet sieve is a unit that uses air generated from a vacuum to separate particles. After placing the test sieve in the air jet, uh, a nozzle rotates 360 degrees while using air to push the particles around. The air jet is very useful with particles that agglomerate. Since the air jet pushes air through the sieve, the particles collide with the plexiglass lid, which disperses them. This allows the smaller particles to fall through the mesh opening. And like the goal of all sieves, only the larger material will be left on top after the air jet sieve finishes its cycle. One of the benefits that separates an air jet sieve from traditional gravity driven test sieve shakers are that the air jet sieves can be connected to a scale unit. You can weigh your pre batch sample before you run your material, and once you've collected this info, you can run your test. This will provide you with your new sample distribution, which you can weigh on the scale to get the new sample weight. Then you can easily export that to your network, to a, a printer, or store it directly on the Alpine for later analysis. Another benefit of the AirJet sieve is accountability and traceability. The Alpine only operates when each user logs into an account to run a test on the unit. This test is then saved and recorded under that user's name. This has become significantly important in the pharmaceutical industry to be able to trace approved analysis back to the user. The Alpine AirJet uses specific test sieves that you can pre-program to each type of material you test in your lab. For instance, if you run charcoal or limestone through your sieve shaker, you can have a preset for each material to remember the exact settings and levels you need for the material. Like I said before, maybe the biggest reason for using the Alpine is for agglomerating material. If you're comparing the Alpine to a regular sieve shaker, the airflow inside an Alpine does a much better job at separating individual particles that tend to agglomerate compared to the simple rotate and tapping motion from a sieve shaker. The AirJet Sieve E200 LS has specialized sieves with pre-programmed RFID chip technology. The RFID stores the mesh size, number of uses, and serial number. They are 200 millimeter in diameter, their overall height is 1 inch, and the depth to the cloth is 7 eighths of an inch. Stainless steel sieves from 20 micron down to 4,000 micron with RFID technology eliminates potential contamination and saves having to manually input the sieve mesh with every time. But you can also use a standard 8 inch test sieve without an RFID chip if you purchase the compatibility adapter. The standard sieve is 200 millimeter in diameter, the overall height is 1 and 3 quarters of an inch, and the depth to the cloth is 1 and 1 eighths of an inch. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.